These investigations revealed that Roman concrete was not primitive or inferior to modern materials, but was in many ways superior, a humbling realization for engineers who had assumed continuous technological progress. Current research projects are attempting to recreate Roman concrete for modern applications, with some success in laboratory settings, but scaling up production and gaining regulatory approval for new construction materials presents significant challenges. The Getty Villa in California and several other institutions have constructed experimental structures using recreated Roman concrete formulas to test their performance and gather data on long-term durability. Some researchers are investigating whether modern volcanic ashes from locations like California, Iceland, or Italy could substitute for ancient Roman pozzolana, potentially making authentic Roman concrete production economically feasible. Others are exploring whether industrial byproducts like fly ash from coal plants could provide the reactive silica and alumina needed to recreate Roman concrete chemistry without requiring volcanic materials. The European Union has funded research projects investigating Roman concrete as part of efforts to develop more sustainable building materials that reduce carbon emissions while improving structural longevity. What makes the loss of Roman concrete technology particularly poignant is that it represents knowledge that was systematically developed over centuries through careful observation, experimentation, and refinement, then vanished almost overnight. The Romans didn't understand the modern chemistry behind their concrete, but through empirical methods they discovered optimal formulations that we, with all our scientific knowledge, still struggle to perfectly replicate. This suggests that ancient peoples possessed sophisticated practical knowledge that complemented their theoretical understanding, achieving results through experience and observation that modern science approaches through different methods.